It's strange how things turned out. Returning to the village after all these years brings back so many memories. I think of you, Kavita, the younger you, the one who had fire. In some ways, you are the same. That same smile. I've missed talking to you like we used to. We used to talk all night about leaving the village one day and going up to the mountains. Your grandfather told us we would be able to see all of Nepal from up there. Everything seemed possible back then. We didn't have a care in the world. Every year, someone else would stop going to school. But I never thought you would. You were more studious than me. You wanted to finish school and go to university. I missed you so much when you left to work in the rice fields. We would still talk when I returned home every day. I would tell you everything I learned and you would tell me what happened in the village. But it became difficult to understand each other and over time we drifted apart. Then I heard from an auntie that you were to be married. I was scared for you. I remembered Pooja, the smartest girl in our class, who married two years before and died in childbirth. But you said the date had been arranged. On the day of the wedding, I couldn't show my face. Were you happy? I couldn't tell. When you packed up your belongings, I was scared I would never see you again. Soon. You were pregnant. When you came back to the village to give birth, I hardly recognized you. You were pregnant but so thin your bones were showing. Throughout your pregnancy, your husband's family had made you work in the rice fields. I remember praying as you went into labor. I went to the hospital. You were pouring sweat and slipped in and out of consciousness. You were barely breathing. I whispered in your ear that I was there, but you couldn't hear me. They said you were not going to make it. But my prayers were answered. Somehow, despite the odds, you survived. You gave birth to Chaya, your daughter, with huge brown eyes like yours. She was so beautiful. But I saw the disappointment on the faces of everyone, especially your husband. They all wanted a boy. Your husband refused to take you back. And so you recovered slowly in the village. But the light had left your eyes. I know it's not easy bringing up Chaya alone. I'm sorry I didn't spend more time with you. I was so focused on university and my future. Now, when I come back to the village, we spend what time we can together. As I stand in the mountains, 
I look back towards our village. I think about what your life could have been. All the dreams we had. I picture you outside your home playing with Chaya. I hope that your dreams can live on through her and that she can have the opportunities you never had. Every year another 12 million girls like my friend Kavita are married before they turn 18. Their childhoods are stolen. But this doesn't have to be their story.